Hi there, everybody, and welcome to the Growth Execution Webinar. Uh, this week's is all about how do I get to know my target audience? Really, really critical, obviously, in terms of growing your business. Um, and what I wanted to do just was um, to dip into um, how you can identify the kinds of people that you're looking to, to get involved with, to get to buy from you. Um, how can you understand more data about them? How can you engage with them? And then how can you encourage them along the way to them? purchase. Um, so let's start off though by having a look at um, where this fits into the growth execution formula. You'll recall growth execution formula is all about 15 steps that take you from um, start of your business all the way through to success. Um, it's split into three product marketing and sales uh, and this is one of the marketing elements. It's called marketing intel. Now marketing intel is all about the intelligence, the data that you can get about your customers. Now, we live in a world where data is everywhere. And one of the challenges you have as an SME growth leader is to try and identify which bits of that data are going to be of any use to you whatsoever. Um, you can spend a long time um, staring at dashboards, looking at uh, different numbers, analyzing stuff. Um, but if that doesn't necessarily get you closer to where you want to go, i.e. more customers, then it's going to be time that is ill spent. So what you want to do is to find the right places to go to learn about your customers, which bits of data are the right bits of data to be looking at and how to then use that data and those customers in order to generate more and more sales and success and growth for your business. OK, so um, let's then start off with um, a quick look at what um, marketing intel is all about. Um, so really, it's um, it's about data on behavior. OK, now um, we looked actually back in uh, product service, which was the third element. Um, and do go to the Grocery website if you want to see any of these uh, and review any of the, 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 the webinars or get access to them. Um, Product service is all about um, avatars of who your customers are, okay? What they um, think, what they believe, all that sort of thing. So what Marketing Intel is doing is overlaying that with actual rigorous data, okay? Now, the places that you need to think about looking for these customers are clearly places where their interest, their belief um, draws them towards. So, you know, it may be that they are particularly keen on a, uh, on a particular idea or on a particular um, philosophy, on a particular political party. Uh, they may be keen on a particular thing like trains. Um, whatever it is, you need to, I, first of all, when you set out your product, to understand them and to know who you're building it for. But secondarily, then look around and see where they hang out. OK, there will be a group or probably many groups uh, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, uh, on other social media platforms where people who like the things that they like go. People who like the things that they like chat and exchange views. And it is within these forums that you are going to be able to um, learn more about very, very specifically what helps to guide these people into their, their decisions, their purchasing habits, uh, and what is going to help you then to drive success into your business and to enable them and give them permission almost to uh, pay for your service or your product or whatever it is that you are you are offering out to the market. So um, clearly the, the, the kind of, the, the beliefs that they have is a really fundamental point. You have to, at the very least, understand them and understand them almost intuitively you are recommended or i highly recommend that you also share those beliefs um, if it is the case that you are diametrically opposed to those beliefs then i think there's going to be a problem in all honesty there will be a moment in time and you've seen it in you know, plays you've seen it sometimes in the news where people are found out they're espousing things like environmentalism for example and you know their diesel car or their you know private jet habit uh, comes to the fore and it's something that they are you know highly um, called out as, as being um, hypocritical about so um, sharing their views to an extent if not completely immersing yourselves in them is, is certainly a benefit it gives you also a, a real edge uh, in terms of, of um, getting further faster 
Um, and also, do you know what? It actually makes it much easier for you to build a product to, to help these people. Um, if you are an outsider looking in and believing that you have the right solution for them, that can work, but it is tremendously um, difficult to maintain that um, that kind of insider feel. Um, so when you're looking at um, the, the data on the behavior of your of your potential target audience, um, it is remarkably helpful to be part of that audience yourself or to at least participate and engage in um, the, a similar uh, pursuit and belief system that they do. Um, but what you're looking to do when when initially um, approaching and looking at what these uh, th these groupings are are doing is you're looking to try and find um, try and find patterns. You're trying to find things that um, that enable um, them to make their decisions and to kind of flow through this uh, through this model, um, so that you are very well positioned when you do approach them or you do introduce to them the idea that your uh, business or your product or service is all about and um, that they have um, a real understanding of what that looks like and what it involves as well. Um, I'm loving the uh, the ideas that we've got straight away um, from Christian. Thank you very much indeed for that, uh, which is to take them out drinking. That is another way of getting to know your customers absolutely and for sure. Um, and uh, I know for a fact that that's something that Christian himself does uh, on a uh, on a regular basis when you know when allowed by COVID restrictions and so on. I'm not for a second suggesting he breaches any of those at all. Um, so um, what? Other ways we can do uh, to find out more about those things is, is is absolutely that. Yes, there will be physical times when we can all be together again and we can go out to those social clubs uh, and be with them too. Um, but what the data um, will draw you towards is the right approach for engaging with them and helping them to, to make great decisions about what to buy from you. Um, one of the things I really, really, really find useful and one of the things that is our recommendation this week um, is um, within this this marketing intel um, element is is typeform so this what typeform.com does is it allows you to create scorecards now it's really really smart if you actually go onto the grocery website and um, right down the bottom in the footer you can see uh, there's the growth execution scorecard click on that and it will show you a great example of one of these and what it does is it allows you it asks you questions okay so customer comes onto your site let's say you've put an advert out there um, or you've dropped it into one of these forums we were just talking about and you say click here and find out how i don't know how viking you are for example uh, or how uh, train spotter you are or whatever it is um, whatever that particular interest is you can then get them to click and they can do a little survey uh, and everybody knows that if you can get people to do surveys and to provide little bits of data that you can then reflect back to them something about themselves uh, it's really rewarding right it's something that people love to do um, and you know Facebook used to be for a while rife with those kinds of things um, you can make your own ones and they can really help you not only to demonstrate to your potential audience that you really understand them and you get them and that you know you're offering the kinds of things that they're going to interest them but it also gives you a really profound insight into them themselves so the questions that you craft um, and the answers that you then generate give you depth to an understanding of obviously that individual themselves but then as you roll that up into a wider um, pool of data uh, and again, we're really talking about how do you get to know your audience. Um, you roll that up into a wider pool of data. You can see the answer to those 10, 20 questions, however many they are, and you can aggregate them and you can see percentages. Um, and that is, is a unique um, insight that you then possess within your business as to what your target audience is thinking and feeling about the kinds of things that you are looking to deliver. Um, what we also look at um, when we're thinking about the data that we can, we can pull together um, is... The, the scores that these type form um, surveys can deliver back. So as a result of the answers that a customer or potential customer may give you for these type forms, what they will also potentially do is, is allow you to give them back a score. OK, and that score could be um, a score of um, how um, again, what, what, what percentage of a particular attribute uh, that's relevant to your business they are um, and give them something instantaneous. OK, and, and at scores, giving people scores back for how good they are at certain things or uh, what particular type of 
person they are uh, is something that that really resonates with people and really draws them back to you and, and gets them involved in what you're doing as well um so type form is something that i would highly recommend you do um have a look at absolutely um the next thing um that i wanted to just flag up for you is um around um the kind of how how these patterns change over time all right and here is a just a sample graph of of things where you go you call audience you enhanced audience you can start to get segments of your databases or segments of your uh, customer base and help to understand a bit more about what differentiates them as much as what makes them the same we've spoken before again about the niche side of things so knowing your niche driving deep and doing amazingly well at something relatively compact is much much better than doing something quite wide that is just okay those people for whom it is okay even if there are many 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 more of them will not love you and your business as much as those for whom you do a very narrow thing very well all right so by um getting more and more data about your particular audience you are enabling yourself to um be much better at working on who you can include in this niche what what specific attributes that cohort has as opposed to the wider cohort that you might have identified as your broad your broad target so um those things again are, are really really critical in making it so that you are understanding the data around your customer understanding what it is that you um, are really uh, looking to bring forward and, and enable them to to engage with you on um, so once you've got your your kind of hyper niche, um, what you're going to want to do um, is to to engage with them. All right. So as I've said, you need to find out where they where they hang out. You've got to find out what it is that they they like to do. Um, it could be on social media. All right. And typically um, it could be a hashtag. You know, so if you search around for a hashtag on social media, you'll find everybody for whom that hashtag is so important that they have included it in their tweet or they put it up on their Instagram or whatever. Um, so social media, and then you can start to engage in those conversations. So you can start to demonstrate your skill set and your understanding of their problems and why your solution is, is important to them. Now, it's important to say that you don't want to spam them, all right? You don't want to be that business that is always, always, always answering things and putting just click here to have a look at uh, the website or email me or whatever. Um, what you want to do is you want to be helpful for the sake of being helpful, right? Then you'll get more followers, you'll get people who are, are opting in to your messaging rather than you having to um, constantly go out and broadcast how brilliant you are. You will then be have people who um, follow you um, or who friend you who are going to be able to then understand much more about you as uh, as a business um and that is then going to enable them to, uh, to 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 buy those products from you and to see you as the solution to the problems that they have all right um, the next one is news websites so on news websites you, you cannot fail to have noticed uh, that the majority of them have comment sections and in those comment sections you can get let's call it a bit of variety of different people conversing um generally they tend to be quite passionate so if you can find a story that riffs off the story sorry that the, the area that you have a particular interest in you will find those that have a similar interest coalescing underneath in the comment section chatting slash shouting at each other um but what that provides you with is that real understanding that real ability to do something uh, about conveying your own thoughts on it and your own expertise and your own knowledge uh, and again once you start to do that over a period of time what you'll find is that you become somebody recognized or a business that's recognized as being an expert in that particular field and therefore people will start to seek you out or recognize when you are doing other things out in out in the, the, uh, the internet on online as well um, the third one is online forums okay so you know again it, it's very similar to the sort of uh, the, the comment sections um, but you will have very specific dedicated forums that are focused around one particular topic um, and there will potentially be numerous of them again care needs to be taken you can find that here lies specifically only a very 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 small subset 
that are the ones that like to, to talk a lot about it rather than those that are kind of a silent majority within your niche. Um, but again, it's important to know that they're there to judge your level of, um, uh, of integration or your level of engagement with them, whether it is something that you really want to, uh, to do. But once you've um, looked at it, you've assessed it, then again, it's going to give you data about what your target audience is talking okay so that is how you can get to know your target audience as i've said there is so much more on the groshen.co website g-r-o-w-t-i-o-n.co go have a look there's plenty uh, of tips uh, most of them free you've got obviously these webinars you've got newsletters you've got loads and loads of stuff that will help you to further your knowledge about your your target audience and how you can get to know them all right i'm really grateful for your time today this week um obviously all about uh, your target audience we'll be back again next week with a different topic um if you want to join us in the growth execution group please do get chatting in there there's loads going on really grateful for um, you spending the time having a look at this video uh, if you're on youtube and you're watching this then do subscribe and follow uh, and we will catch up with you again next week 